okay dear students let us see how to do this question a quantity of an ideal gas is at temperature capital T in a cylinder with a movable piston that traps a length L of the gas the piston is moved so that the length of the trapped gas is reduced to 5 L by 6 and the pressure of the gas doubles okay so what is given in the question this is the initial position this is the initial position of the piston and uh, the pressure here is taken as P now what happens is we just compress this thing and the piston moves ahead and now the length has become 5 L by 6 the pressure now is 2 P what is the temperature of the gas at the end of the change okay so we need to comment on the temperature earlier the temperature is given as capital T but now the temperature is not known so I'm just calling it T2 so we have to find the the value of T2 in the terms of T again whenever we have an ideal gas there's only one equation that should click you first time now what is that PV is equal to NRT so it's PV is equal to NRT and <clears throat> for both of the cases so uh, the gas is not leaking out so number of moles are going to be constant R is anyways universal gas constant so PV by T is constant in the process so we can only say P1 V1 divided by T1 should be equal to P2 V2 divided by T2 now so this I'm just now substituting the values I'm comparing case 1 and case 2 so the pressure here is P and the volume here in the how are we going to find the volume you see this is the cross-sectional area let us say this is A and I believe you must be knowing this thing like volume is equal to the product of area and the length so area is the cross-section area otherwise you might be knowing this thing that the volume of a cylinder is given by pi r square h and you see what is this pi r square is the cross-sectional area of the tube and h is the length so anyways we can apply this formula now whether this is a circular base or whether it is a rectangular cross-section or a square cross-section doesn't matter at all we just need to find the area a so we are just going to call it a now what what is the volume here it will be a into l because initially a is the area and l was the length so what was the initial volume the product of a and l so this is divided by capital t now the pressure has been doubled and volume will be area multiplied by the new length which is 5l by 6 so it will be 5l by 6 divided by the temperature now and the temperature now is written as T2 which I do not know and that is what we are supposed to find in the question so now <clears throat> we will cancel the things that we can and this is just algebraic simplification you can follow uh, the things that you are comfortable with so I'm just writing it as P A L divided by T so I'm, I'm I've taken this P A and L outside so it is PALT2 and 2 into 5 by 6 is left here. <clears throat> so now PAL, PALs, they have been cancelled out. So this is 3. And from here, I can say that T2 and T are cross multiplied. It will be 5 by 3 into T. And so that is why C is going to be the correct answer. So this is how we do this. And if you have any other doubt regarding this topic or any other question, you can mention that in comment section. Also, you can send the questions that are similar to this on my Discord. Okay, so that I would be able to solve those questions for you. All the best.